What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for checking in today. Uh, we've got another Blood Red Skies unboxing for you today. We're going to take a look at a, another one of the expansion packs here. So this is for the USAAF, so the U.S. Air Force, uh, Army Air Force. Um, so great addition, any of these for any of the factions in the game. Just adding more variants to existing planes and also bringing in some new equipment and things like that. So these are just great little pickups. So if you've got a fair bit for any of your given factions this, and you don't have this yet, highly recommend picking these up. They're pretty uh, inexpensive overall. And, you know, you're not going to get any new models, like physical models, but again, you're going to get other uh, versions of your existing planes and stuff like that, which just helps refresh things without, um, you know, having to get, again, new models, new stuff to paint and all that. Um, so a really great idea um, from Warlord here. So anyway, without further ado, we're going to get this opened up for you guys and sorted out, and then we'll take a look at it. So we'll be right back. All right, guys, we've got everything unboxed for you. And as you can see, you get quite a few cards in here. And uh, some of our cards at the top, there's also multiples of those. So you get several heavy hitter and great dive cards, for example, in deep pockets uh, as well. So a lot of these we already have um, from existing planes and kits and stuff like that. So I'm not going to spend too much time on there. We do get, um, just because of the nature of some of the planes here, though, um, some of our cards are disadvantaged or negative traits here. So some of the planes will have poor quality, sluggish, or vulnerable. And we'll see that in just a little bit. And then we get several new cards um, as well on uh, the other categories of cards here. So just as a re reminder here, so we get some theater cards, which are really cool. Uh, so battle fatigue, for example, play in reaction to an enemy pilot taking a maneuver test. The enemy pilot rolls one fewer dice when taking the test. So really good stuff there. Uh, restricted airfields uh, is another fun one. If the enemy has an equal or greater number of aircraft, one enemy plane of their choice does not appear in the scenario. So again, um, you know, some of these will make more sense in like, uh, you know, Casual fun scenarios. Um, some of these really probably shouldn't be in tournaments. Um, could be kind of annoying um, to have some of those, but really, again, just fun and character characterful uh, cards here. Downdrafts is another fun one. So, in reaction to an enemy plane activating in a cloud, the aircraft will crash if it does not move outside the cloud during its activation. The aircraft is disadvantaged when it leaves the cloud. So, pretty uh, wild stuff there. Um, moving on, we get equipment and some other things going on as well. So uh, we'll start with the uh, equipment here. So we get Polished Performance, um, which basically is for uh, 1939 planes, costs us three points, and basically uh, putting putting some wax and lacquer on the plane to actually make it faster. So basically you play it on a plane when comparing MPH uh, with an enemy to determine activation. Uh, the friendly plane adds five miles per hour for comparison purposes only, so pretty cool there. And then Drop Tanks, 1941, free upgrade, play this card during deployment. So a designated friendly squadron disregards one boom chit gained during deployment. There's a lot of scenarios that uh, potentially apply those automatically, but you reduce squadron MPH by 20 miles per hour on turn one if that becomes relevant. Then we get other things here. Um, so uh, interlocking fire. So aircrafts with turrets employ interlocking fields of fire for mutual defense. In reaction to a plane with a turret firepower rating being attacked, add one firepower for every other friendly plane within range of the attacker uh, with a turret and arc. So it could be pretty nasty there, uh, especially with enemies sneaking up on your bombers. Uh, slashing attack. Um, uh, basically, you get a bonus great dive or rapid roll. On a friendly plane that burns advantage to dive, if a hit is scored by the plane's shooting during its pilot action, it automatically counts as a crit. So that's actually really damn cool. Um, and then outnumbered. Um, so in uh, this one, the first and third one here, we remove this one uh, pilot test to get it back. Um, outnumbered. So play this card during deployment if outnumbered by the enemy. All friendly squadrons ignore the first boom shit scored against them. So, really neat thing there. Um, then we get into uh, really what we're um, most excited about here, which of course are the new versions of planes and even just some new planes, period, that we don't have before. Some of these sadly still don't have uh, actual models yet. Um, I know there's a lot of people 3D printing stuff out there, um, so that's certainly one route to take. Although, um, Certainly would be nice if Warlord would get around to uh, specifically making this, finally, the P-38. Um, I know a lot of people would love to be playing that. Um, they do have Era Cobras, um, if I'm not mistaken, and really you could field uh, existing um, Mustangs um, for some of these other variants here, although it would be nice to have like more accurate uh, versions just because there are some minor differences. But let's start off with one of our bombers that we get. So we get the B-25C Mitchell, 20, or twin engine bomber, not 20 engine bomber, good lord. Um, so 360 turret, no maneuverability, speed six, so rather fairly slow, but it's a bomber, right? 
Um, so it's a two engine bomber, uh, has the bomber trait and turret, um, 360, uh, firepower one, and then rear firepower plus one. Um, and a little historical blurb on there as well. And, um, you know, uh, basically 1941 there. So, uh, but really good stuff there for a medium bomber. A lot of scenarios call for that. Uh, then we get a P-51B Mustang, so uh, firepower of 1, maneuverability 2, but speed 9. So again, these things are your speedy boys here for the U.S. Um, and this, again, just as a quick glance, mid-war, speed 9 is pretty damn cool. 35 points for these things. Uh, base here, so it's got great dive and deep pockets. Good stuff there. So if you have your existing Mustang model, it's very easy just to field this then. Although, um, uh, you know, these are before they had like the bubble canopy and all that stuff in the later... All right, guys, so before we get into the lightning, again, we're going to move uh, on and come to that at the end here. So A36A Apache, so an early version of the Mustang. Um, this one sort of retooled as a dive bomber, so speed of only 7, still uh, on the faster end of that at 365. Um, maneuverability of 2 and firepower 1, and clocking in at only 28 points, but 1942. So that was kind of the underpowered early Mustang. Then we get the big boy bomber here. So B-17 EF, uh, EF uh, Flying Fortress. Uh, four engine heavy bomber, so plenty of 360 turret action, no maneuverability, but real speed of six here with 318, or uh, uh, real speed 318, but speed of six here. Um, that's pretty impressive though, still over 300. Um, so bomber, four engine bomber, robust, and turrets are firepower two with rear being plus two. Um, and again, 1942. Uh, for these particular ones here. And then uh, finally, we do have existing models for the Aero Cobra, but this is the P39D. So um, speed of seven here at 359, uh, firepower two, maneuverability one, heavy hitter, uh, which is pretty cool, uh, but poor quality. And these are basically a 1941 version. So I think the existing ones, if I'm not mistaken, are 1939. So this is a later version, but uh, only 23 points for these. So you can definitely field quite a few of them or go a little bit more expensive and have some higher skill pilots too. So um, good stuff there. So i um, glad to see those. But now finally, the main thing that we are most interested in here is finally a P-38, which um, still doesn't have a model, uh, but um, may, you know, finally come out. I think Blood Red Skies is getting a retooling here with a uh, focus on the Pacific theater. So um, I have to imagine those would come around that point, but just an awesome, awesome plane for the U.S. Um, so again, those who have 3D printers and can get this to um, uh, to scale uh, for now, um, really awesome plane to field. So anyway, twin engine fighter, firepower two, maneuverability still of two, despite being a twin engine plane. Um, so really good stuff there. And then to top it all off, speed eight. Um, these things were still blazingly fast um, for their size and everything. So um, real speed of 420, that will win you um, a lot of comparisons, a lot of heads up. Uh, so multi-engine two, great dive, heavy hitter, and agile still, again, on such a rather large plane. Um, so 1943 for this particular one. But all that awesomeness is going to cost you 61 points base here. So just uh, something to keep in mind. So um, you know, uh, depending on how many higher skill pilots you go with, you're certainly going to... Um, uh, in most situations probably be outnumbered unless you just take like one or two great ones of these and then fill in the rest with some cheaper planes but um, really great plane love this thing so um, so that being said really great pickup again love these sets that Warlord puts out and hopefully we'll see more of these uh, down the road so um, certainly like everything in here it's always great to just add more things and without necessarily having to add physical models to buy. So again, uh, sometimes just a couple of extra cards, theater, doctrine, stuff like that really just makes a great difference. And always having more, excuse me, having more of the existing cards is, is, is a good thing. So a new variants of existing planes is just another great way to keep the game fresh and alive. So let us know in the comments, guys, if you've picked this up, what most excites you about the U.S.? What models are you most looking forward to that maybe haven't been released yet? Um, and other things, other variants maybe that you think should uh, see a release at some point, whether it's cards like this for existing planes or new uh, planes altogether. Happy to hear from you guys there. Um, so uh, leave us a comment, of course, if you can. Like and subscribe uh, if you have not already. And then check out the comments, too, if you guys do want to support us a little bit more. Um, there's a link to Warlord uh, there. If you head over there and pick anything up, that helps support the channel. And we do appreciate everyone who does that. So thanks so much for stopping by again, guys, and we will see you in the next one.